astonished by the power of music. What is it about music that can make us feel emotions so deeply? It can soothe us, energize us, and bring us together. Whether a community of friends or a nation of individuals, music can spark memories and associations and enable us to revisit a moment in time and exactly how we felt at that moment. Music can make us react, and music can rally a cause. Music can literally heal. And I'm not just talking about on an emotional level. I'm talking about actual medical conditions that have been mitigated by music. I don't totally understand how or why music has that power, but I thought it would be cool to look at a couple of examples. There's a true story about a friendship that developed between a world-famous symphony orchestra player, Robert Gupta, and a homeless man who suffered from schizophrenia. In fact, a movie was made about it called The Soloist. The short of the story is that creating and playing music enabled this schizophrenic man to gather the chaos in his head and give it structure and organization, and music grounded him. Have you ever heard of Tourette's syndrome? It's a neurological disorder that causes uncontrollable movement and speech. If you want to imagine a life with Tourette's, imagine how you feel when you have the hiccups and you can't make them stop. And now imagine you have them your entire life. Well, in this next example, a woman with Tourette's syndrome discovered that her uncontrolled actions decreased in frequency and intensity when she listened to music. Even more remarkable, when she sings, and she's now an accomplished singer, they disappear completely. And then there are brain injury patients. For example, Congresswoman Gabby Gifford. She was a victim of a shooting. And due to the brain trauma the Congresswoman suffered from her shooting injuries, she was no longer able to speak. But apparently, language and music reside in different parts of the brain. And so the hospital provided music therapy for Mrs. Gifford in the form of singing. And through music, the Congresswoman was able to relearn and recover the ability to talk. It's amazing. But perhaps you're thinking to yourself, well, will these physiological cases seem like anomalies or outliers? Okay. So let's move instead to talking about your own experience. Let's talk about how each one of you has potentially experienced the power of music. On a daily basis, your mood and behavior is impacted by music. You probably don't even acknowledge it for more than a moment, but it's there. Think about how one song on Spotify or Tune Tuesday can totally change your mood or spark a feeling or a reaction. And that's just how music might impact you. What about how it impacts groups of people, communities, countries, even the world? I can still remember my senior year of high school, sitting outside on the steps with my friends, singing out loud to Twisted Sisters, We're Not Gonna Take It. To this day, when I hear that song, I get transported back to that moment. And amazingly, that song is still an anthem of rebellion for people 35 years later. And what about our national anthem? What is it about that line and that kind of the land of the free that collectively makes us clap and cheer? Is it just that we're impressed that the singer can hit that kind of? Or is it more powerful than that? Is it that we have a moment of collectively feeling a part of something bigger and more important than just ourselves? What really amazes me is the power of music to rally a cause. The earliest example I remember was Live Aid, 1985, my freshman year of college. It was to benefit the famine crisis in Ethiopia. But perhaps more relatable in your life was the concert for New York City. 
This was held five weeks after the Twin Tower attacks. In five weeks' time, over 60 stars rallied together to put on a concert in Madison Square Garden. I remember that concert. It was one of the first times New Yorkers smiled again. Emergency responders and their families were invited as the guests of honor. They got a night off from the ongoing recovery and rescue work. They sang and laughed and healed, if only for a few hours. That concert also happened to raise over $30 million for the victim's family. That's powerful. As a teacher, I often turn to music to save the day. Sometimes to settle class down, that's feeling anxious or overwhelmed by impending AP season. Sometimes it's to bring energy to a class that's feeling unmotivated after five consecutive days of rain. And every time I play music in my room, that music creates a sense of community. I love listening as a class debates what song we should play. I hear students share individual memories that a particular song brings back. And many times, this leads students to share detail about themselves that they wouldn't otherwise get to share. But the song made it okay to do so. And nothing beats the moment when the selected song starts and the entire class begins to sing together. I have understood the power of music all my life, and yet, its ability to soothe, invigorate, and bring together never loses its sense of wonder for me. I've often said in my next life, I want to be a rock star. <laughs> not for the reasons some of you might imagine. It's not the fame and fortune I seek. It is the magical ability of music to impact so many lives. That is my holy grail. Thank you.